Hey guys, Jinjinx here. Quick pre-word about this video, this is going to be a re-upload. I have already explained in a video why I had to take the old version of this video down. But I have triple checked and all the numbers are now correct. Now a lot of you did mention a lot of different points we didn't cover in the video in the comments of the old version. But because I want to get the corrected information out as soon as possible, I'm keeping the edits down pretty much just to the numbers changes. There is one topic I am going to discuss however, which is the stagger bonus on long charge shells and how that affects how it compares to wide shelling. I'll be discussing the other points in a future video. Anyway, enjoy the video. So in our last video we discussed the math of how shelling works. But how the different shell levels and shell types work is only part of the equation. Each of the different shelling types does have different combos they are optimal at using, giving them different play styles. What's your style? So, let's talk about the different play styles of gun lance and how they mathematically compare to one another. There are four different styles of gun lance. One for each shelling type, so normal full burst, wide poke shell, and long charge shells. And then there is also Swing Lance, the non-shelling style. Let's talk about normal shelling first. So normal shells have the most shells per clip at 5 per clip and 6 with capacity boost. However, as you can see in this chart, they have the lowest base damage out of every single shelling type. Furthermore, their bonus for charge shells is only 1.6. And this is 1.6 the base amount, so even though wide shelling has a 1.4 multiplier because it has a higher base damage, it ends up doing more damage on charged shells. So for normal shelling, it's the worst, and for charged shelling, it's the worst, so why use normal? You use normal because it's the best in the game at the FULL BURST COMBO this. The full burst combo is upswing into slam into full burst into wide sweep into quick reload into slam into full burst etc etc. This full burst unloads every single shell in your clip at the same time. With capacity boost, normal shelling has twice the shells per clip as wide and 50% more than long. On top of that, it has a 10% damage multiplier on full burst shell explosions. This does lead to it having the highest shelling damage on its full burst attack. Not by a huge margin, but normal gun lances also have the benefit that the actual meta normal gun lances have very high EFR on their sets. And the motion value per second of the full burst combo is a lot. At least relevant to the other gun lance combos. So at which breakpoints does the DPS of the normal full burst combo beat the other types? Well here we have a chart of every single possible combo you use with the different gun lances, the EFR for their respective builds, and then the total DPS they do depending on the hit zone value of the monster part you hit. And yes, this accounts for weakness exploit, all artillery skills, capacity boost, feline bombardier, and focus 3 on long gun lance. It's a lot of information, but let's break it down. So first off, let's compare it to swing lance as they have extremely similar combos and very similar matchups. The shelling damage inside of your combo makes it better against lower hit zone value monsters, in fact the breakpoint for that is 65 hit zone value. Above that is the breakpoint at which Swing Lance will start beating you for DPS because it overcomes the difference in lack of shelling damage. This is assuming that both have their highest sharpness and that is an issue with normal gun lance, but we'll discuss that more later. The other competitor is going to be wide shelling. The breakpoint at which full busto beats all possible wide shelling combinations is also at 65 hit zone value. At this point, looping the full boost or combo will deal more damage than any possible combination of attacks that the wide shells can use. Wide shelling is extremely versatile and has a lot of different combos and we'll discuss the intricacies of those a bit more when we talk about wide shelling. But this DPS is only assuming you're doing the loop part of the combo, in other words you're skipping the upswing by doing quick reload loops. Adding in that upswing does significantly lower your DPS with full burst though. In fact, that combo including upswing loses to wide at every single possible hit zone value. So in other words, the more you can spam the loop without having to stop, the more DPS you do. But the moment that you have to block or hop or stop your combo in any way, your DPS goes down by a bit. This makes it kind of impractical to use unless you use Rocksteady Mantle and the Health Augments. Or arguably in multiplayer, depending on how lucky you are with monster aggro. Now the fact that at 65 hit zone value it beats wide gun lance but loses the swing lance puts it in kind of an awkward position. Now the best normal gun lance is still the pink Rathian gun lance the royal burst so you do also get poison damage. This extra poison damage does mean that you will be dealing more damage than wide in a lot of matchups in the game. But it does still mean swing lance is kind of just a better version of normal. 
Alright, next up we have Wide Shelling. White shells deal the most damage per shell for uncharged shells, as well as wyvern fires and worm stakes. They also have fatter shells, hence wide, but that doesn't really make that much of a difference. They do have the weakest full burst combo, but that's not really a problem because they get to use a whole bunch of different combos. All of these generally involve weaving different pokes and uncharged shells into each other. Generally, this combo is going to be poke shell, poke shell, poke shell, quick reload. This gives you the most balanced damage in terms of the fixed damage and your EFR based raw damage. This is generally your bread and butter and will be best in most situations. There are some combos that will beat it depending on hits and value of the monster, but we'll discuss those when we discuss those combos. The next combo you can do is going to be 3 pokes plus a shell done 3 times and then a quick reload. And this is more raw focused, so better for squishy monsters. The breakpoint in which this is better is technically 65 hit zone value. But this is only for the first two rotations where you don't have to reload. If you account for all nine of the pokes, all three of the shells plus the quick reload, it loses at every single possible hit zone value. Of course, realistically, you don't get to do the full combo and just reload every time. Sometimes you reload in between combos or chasing or things like that, so it has its uses. Or you can even do shell, poke, shell, shell, quick reloads, repeats. You do have to weave a poke into this combo. If you try the shell three times in a row, that third shell instead becomes a worm stake. But this three shells and one poke combo is going to be the highest shelling damage per second you can possibly do. Yes, even more than just purely spamming charged shells on long gun lance. Plus you get a poke weaved in between, so that's even more bonus damage on top of that. But more on that when we talk about meme lance, I mean long gun lance. Now this 3 shelling 1 poke combo does out DPS a 3 poke 3 shell combo at lower hit zone value monsters. The breakpoint for this is at 25 or lower hit zone values. Admittedly, there are basically no monsters in the game that have hit zone values this low, but this is the combo you will end up using if you ever decide to run a defensive build. Now, we aren't the biggest fan of the image that Gunlance has that it's a weapon you build only defensively on with quality of life skills and don't worry about DPS skills. While it is true that it scales lesser with EFR than other weapons do, it still gets a lot of DPS increase from running EFR. So let's just do some quick paper math on comparing a full EFR full damage wide set versus a defensive one. So this chart is going to compare a meta wide 4 gun lance set versus a wide 4 gun lance set running defensive skills, artillery 3 and capacity boost and no other EFR skills. For the poke 3 and shell 3 combo, the meta set's DPS gain is anywhere from 3.38% to 44.53. For the shelling combos, anywhere from 1.14% to 21.06%. And if we compare the higher DPS poke 3 shell 3 combo for the meta set versus the shelling combo for the defensive set, it's anywhere from 3.07% to 67.81%. While knowing the ranges is nice, let's look at a more realistic average sever hit zone value of around 60. That's at 37.85% more damage. That is a big difference. That's about the equivalent of using a rarity 4 weapon instead of rarity 7 or 8 weapon. Of course, this is mostly just napkin math. If this is a topic you'd like us to talk about more in the future, leave a comment below and we'll look into it more. But suffice to say, you do get a pretty sizable DPS increase from building damage. I did say in the previous video that Gun Lance is better for defensive skills than other weapons, but that's more in context of niche useful skills like running wind resistance against Lunastra or tremor resistance against Uragon. Anyway, moving on. Wide Gun Lance's ability to be able to have a bunch of different combos depending on the monster matchup makes it extremely flexible, and arguably the most Gun Lancey of the Gun Lances. If you're fighting something really squishy like Bagel, you can focus more on pokes than shelling. If you're fighting something with really tanky hit zone values like Luna or Lava sh you can focus on shelling and only poke once per combo. On top of that, it is the safest playstyle by far because it has such little animation commitments. This makes it much easier to block or hop out of the way of anything that's going to beat on you. So what's the downside? The only wide 4 gun lances that exist are KT weapons. And for those tanky matchups we talked about, you probably need a mind's eye deco so that one poke that you weave into your combo doesn't bounce. Outside of that though, this is pretty much the gun lanciest of gun lances. Next up we have Meme Lance, otherwise known as Long Gun Lance. It deals the most charged shelling damage by far and you basically just spam charged shells. This does make it the only gun lance style that deals purely shelling damage. And the focus skill does decrease the time it takes for your charged shells to go off, so focus 3 is mandatory. But honestly, even with that, it's, it's a meme. 
As we mentioned earlier, shelling has very few damage modifiers. This means that long shelling being purely shelling based for damage caps out on this damage much more quickly than the other stoils do. Wide and normal gun lands can both stack more EFR to increase their damage. But that's not why you play long gun lands. You play long gun lands because you only need three skills, capacity boost, artillery, and focus to max your damage. Because you can't increase your damage any other way, you just end up stacking defensive skills making for a very nice defensive build. The problem with this is that wide gun lance does that better. Wide gun lance doesn't need focus to cap out its shelling damage, which gives you three level 2 slots of efficiency to fit in even more defensive skills. And on top of that, the shelling combo for wide gun lance does more DPS than charge shelling does on long gun lance for both the fixed damage per second and the true fire damage per second. And that's not even accounting for the one pokes damage in there which increases the DPS even more. And yes, these combo times do account for reloads. And for focus 3. And the combo time for long gun lance is not even accounting for the ramp up because your first shell cannot be a charge shell, you have to do a normal shell first. Which means even if you are spamming charge shells without any wind up using rocksteady, you still deal less damage than wide gun lance. And this is only on the shelling damage, wide gun lance also gets a poke in the combo. And it's less animation commitment making it even safer. And you can fit more defensive skills on the build! I don't know why Capcom balanced the numbers this way, but Long Gun Lance literally does everything worse than Wide does. It is less safe, it has worse builds, it deals less damage. The only real advantage is that your shells have slightly longer range. Which doesn't even matter that much because the animation commitment is longer locking you in place so Wide Gun Lance can move around and reposition during that time. And even if you don't have a wide 4 gun lance, a wide 3 gun lance only has to deal 34 damage per poke to match the DPS of a long gun lance spamming charge shells. That's not a lot. Capcom, why? And yes, long gun lance does get a stagger bonus to its charge shells. The charge shells on long gun lance deal 20% more damage effectively for part breaks, flinches, and trips. This means that it'll part break and trip and flinch more quickly, yes? Here's the problem with that. Anything that deals 20% more DPS than it does will match its ability to part break, trip, and flinch while also dealing 20% more damage. Now for wide 4, the amount of damage the single poke in the combo has to deal to equal this 20% more damage is only 34 damage. At that 34 damage per poke, you'll be part breaking, tripping, and flinching just as fast as long can while charge shell spamming while also dealing 20% more DPS. And if you're using a meta wide 4 gun lance set, this is going to be anytime you're hitting something with a hit zone value of 33 or 34 or higher. In other words, when you poke almost anything. Now on a purely defensive build, you might not be able to achieve 34 damage per poke, in which case long charge shell spamming will be staggering faster. But wide gun lance also has a stagger multiplier and it's higher. Quite a while ago, our beloved Arati did data mine all of these stagger multipliers in the game. And wide charge shells have a 50% bonus. Which means while they'll be dealing lower DPS, they actually deal more staggered damage when you're charge shell spamming a wide gun lance versus long gun lance. So if you're willing to sacrifice your damage to trip faster on charge shells, wide gun lance technically does that better too. The only situation I can see long gun lance being better than wide gun lance is if you need to do a shelling primary style but you don't have a mind's eye deco and the matchup you're fighting you might bounce if you use wide gun lance pokes. Now I'm not trying to sh** on you if you like playing long gun lance. If you find long gun lance fun, great, it's a game, enjoy yourselves. One of my favorite meme builds to run is a sleep greatsword and that sure as hell isn't Max Deeps. I just find it funny sometimes the TCS wake up a monster three times in a row to kill it. I'm just letting you know what the numbers look like. And the numbers look like that long gun lance really needs a buff because it's literally a meme right now. But you know, memes can be fun. Finally, we have non-shelling gun lance, the swing lance. Swing lance is the least gun lanciest of the gun lances because you don't use shelling at all. Swing lance primarily focuses on the full burst combo minus the full burst part. Basically, you do an upswing into a slam, into a sweep, into a quick reload, into a slam, into a sweep, into a quick reload, etc, etc. So yeah, full burst combo without the full burst part. So why is Swing Lance higher DPS than full burst most of the time? Well, two reasons, EFR scaling and sharpness. So the slam and swing in the combo have insanely high motion values. 
and because you don't need to fit in any shelling skills, you have insanely high EFR. You just build metahemoth sets much like you would for other EFR-based weapons. Between the higher EFR and the fact that you cut out animation time compared to the full burst or combo normal uses, Swing Lance will beat any Gun Lance combo at 65 or higher sever hit zone values. This is a lot of the monsters in the game. But the bigger reason is because of sharpness. Swing Lance gets to run Master's Touch, which means it has effectively infinite white sharpness. The problem with all shelling style gun lances is that shelling cannot crit and therefore does not work with Master's Touch. Now Razor Sharp does work with shelling as well as protective polish, but no matter what you have limited white sharpness on gun lance shelling builds. The moment that protective polish runs out, you will run out of white sharpness very quickly on these builds because shelling shreds your sharpness. And once your sharpness drops to blue, you lose 10% of your EFR, which is a pretty noticeable damage drop, which makes non-shelling swing lance even stronger. Protective polish lasts for a minute, a minute 30 if you have item prolonger 3, fun facts, and normal gun lance will shred through its entire white sharpness in basically one combo. So swing lance ends up being the highest DPS option over the entire course of a hunt out of all the four different play styles. However, it also suffers from the same issue as normal in that it has an extremely long animation commitment and it's a ramp up style combo. After you've gone through your first rotation, you can skip the upswing and just do a slam sweep quick reload loop. Because you skip the low motion value upswing, you do a lot more DPS this way. The problem is, unless you can flinch lock a monster or run rock steady, it's very difficult to keep chaining this without getting hit. Now you do also have higher damage pokes and whatnot because you have the highest EFR out of every build. And because of how high the DPS is on this combo, it's actually pretty easy to flinch lock a lot of matchups using this loop. But similar to normal gun lands, this is a more dangerous playstyle. But because the animation time is almost a second and a half shorter because of the lack of full burst, it is quite a bit safer than normal is while also being higher damage. It's very feast or famine, you're either doing insane damage per second and flinch locking a monster or you're not getting hits off. So yeah, buyer beware. Alright, that about does it guys. This was a pretty long video, so let's go ahead and summarize all the points. In terms of DPS, normal shelling will beat wide shelling at 65 or higher hit zone values. And this is not even accounting for the poison damage you get, which is very hard to set a hit zone value breakpoint for, but does mean against most matchups you'll be out DPSing white gun lance. The problem is, between the infinite white sharpness and the higher DPS at 65 or higher hit zone value monsters, Swing Lance will be out DPSing normal in most of these as well, and also be safer. But the issue with both of these styles is that they have a ramp up style combo that's also very unsafe, so without Rocksteady Mantle and Health Augment or Health Booster, they can be fairly challenging to use well. At 65 or lower hit zone values is when Wide can start out DPSing Swing Lance. But that's also not accounting for sharpness uptime, which is kind of difficult to account for because it has too many variables. It is however significantly safer due to lower animation time. This pretty much makes it the go-to style if you're playing against a monster that Swing Lance has a bad matchup for. And long as a meme, Wide does literally everything it does better. Alright, that is everything guys. Thank you so much as always for watching the video. Sorry this video took so long to come out, I had emergency dental surgery this Monday so I wasn't really able to work on it much and Gunlance is really weird. Which is why this video took so much math and so much research to get done. Also, there will be a link in the description to an album containing all of the charts used in this video in case you want to see those more closely. If you learned something new or you have something to add to the discussion, be sure to leave a comment below. Thank you as always to Honey for making the tools we use to make sets, as well as for a lot of the numbers we use in this video. And a huge thank you to Aradi, not only for the stagger data, but for pointing out how my numbers were incorrect so I could quickly get the old video taken down and this new one made. Link to the Monster Hunter World modding Discord where he and other modders and data miners hang out in the description. Also, a huge thank you to Zahn, Godhigh, and Owent, three of our set optimizers over on our Discord server. Gunlance math is really weird and I appreciate all three of them for discussing all the different intricacies with me. Links to all of their various things in the description. Speaking of our Discord server, the Mathalos Nest, be sure to check it out if you'd like to chat with me or any of the set optimizers or just come chat in general about things. Be sure to check out our Twitter, we post updates, the videos, as well as various things that interest us. And be sure to check out Tuna on Twitch. He plays Monster Hunter World and a variety of other games. Also, if you'd like to help consider supporting the channel, be sure to check out our Patreon. And an especially big thank you to MC Persona, Foray, Exponage, Yoshi Cho, David Sternberg, XCLK07, Heika, Milky Powder, David Zhu Sinclair, 
John Cohen, Warren Kios, Hinsatsuken, Wed Manticore, Lithoboli, Bram Orsel, Anti Spartan, Chris Porth, Lightweight, Skylar Yang, Checklemon, Lupin, Mongus, Triple Agent, Alam O'Dom, Zim, Billy Barthol, Magister Obscura, Jamie, and every single one of you who supports us on Patreon. Seriously, we cannot thank you guys enough. Especially when it comes to these kinds of videos that take so much data analysis and math to get out. No matter how much we pack it with all of this useful kind of information, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to go viral. Especially when it comes to something more niche like Gunlance math. But thanks to you guys, we can continue to put out these kinds of high quality informative videos, even though we won't necessarily be topping the YouTube algorithm charts anytime soon. So seriously, thank you guys so much. We do have that Gunlance meta video on the way for you guys, so be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you'd like to know as soon as that comes out. Now that we've fully explored how shelling works, the different styles, and how they compare to each other, we can finally get to the actual meta builds. Gunlance is super weird, guys. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Happy hunting, hunters. Bye.